Hello students, in this video, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung directed line segment. Let's start with directed line. Directed line. Pag sinabing directed line, halimbawa meron tayong line dito. Yan. Tapos, pinili natin yung direction na to as positive then yung opposite direction nya will be negative okay? so ganun lang kasimple yung directed line yung isang direction positive tapos yung opposite direction nya that is negative now let's have directed line segment directed line segment so for directed line segment let's say meron tayong uh, directed line yung isang ano lang yung isang direction na lang yung papakita ko and let's have points A, B uh, distinct, distinct points A, B okay yung directed line segment that is the set of all points including A and B tsaka lahat ng points na nasa gitna nila. So, usually, sinusulat natin siya as this symbol. Okay? So, directed line segment AB. And then, since dire sa directed line yan, kapag kukunin natin yung measure or yung distance between points A tsaka B, okay, naka-indicate doon yung sign. So, ang tawag doon ay directed distance. For example, yung direct uh, yung directed distance between A and B will be x. Okay? Let's say AB is equal to x. Or directed distance between A and B is equal to x. Or the measure of the of directed line segment AB is x. Then kung kukunin mo yung measure or distance from B to A, okay? Let's say BA, then that will be negative x. Bakit negative x? Kasi nga dito sa directed line, di ba? Kapag pinili mo yung isang direction as positive, yung opposite direction niya will be negative. So, kapag kukunin mo yung distance dito sa from A to B, which is x, then yung magiging directed distance from B to A will be negative x. And then, makakaform tayo ng equation which is AB is equal to negative BA. So, yan yung magiging equation natin. Okay? So, as you can see, no? Kaya siya negative BA kasi yung, neg yung BA natin, that is the negative of uh, length ng AB. So, ina-negative lang uli natin para maging equal na siya sa AB. Okay? Now, let's have the real number line. Real number line. Ano ba yung real number line? Yung real number line, that is a directed line. Okay? Na usually, dinodraw natin siya as horizontal. Kunwari, kunwari pantay yan. Tapos, meron tayong chosen point known as the origin. So, ang tawag natin dyan ay origin. Wherein, yung right side ng origin natin Lahat ng points, lahat ng points sa right side ng ating origin ay nagko-correspond sa positive real number. Okay? So, dito ay positive real numbers. And then, lahat naman ng points na nasa left side ng origin will be uh, nagko-correspond sa negative real numbers. So, ito ay negative real numbers. So, usually, ang ating real number line, kapag ginagrap natin siya, ang pinapakita lang natin yung integers. Okay? Parang ganito. Ano ba ito? Ang hirap mag-drawing sa ano. Muntik na pumantay ah. Okay. Pangit. Sa likod na lang. So, 
O yan, mas mukhang ano. Ayan. <coughs> so usually ang origin natin that will be zero. Ibig sabihin, yung zero na yan, hindi siya kabilang dun sa positive, hindi rin siya kabilang sa negative. Tapos yung right side niya, yung mga positive, ang sinusulat lang natin yung positive integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tapos yung left side niya, yung mga negative integers lang yung pinapakita natin. Pag nagkagrap. Pero hindi ibig sabihin yan na yung right side at left side ng origin natin ay puro integers lang. Meron pa rin mga infinite numbers, infinite real numbers dyan na hindi lang natin nilalagay. For example, dito dito sa kasunod ng 3, may makikita tayong point dyan na pi. Okay? Kasi ang value niya, approximate value niya ay 3.14 something. And then, may makikita tayo sa gitna nito ng negative 1 and negative 2 na fraction that is negative 3 over 2. Okay? Or negative 1 and 1 half. So, napakaraming points na nandyan. Infinite number of points. So, ganyan lang kasimple ang ating real number line. Yung ating directed line segment, directed distance, okay? And directed line. 